So Marvel's Werewolf by Night special presentation. Uh, I th the only reason I wanted to check this out um, was because Michael Giacchino was directing and I love his score in films. He, he has a really great uh, track record, so I figured, eh, I'll go see what this one's all about. Turns out I love it. This is probably one of the best things in the whole MCU that I've ever seen alongside uh, Infinity War, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, even better than some of the other um, good MCU stuff I've seen, like Dark Multiverse of Madness and Thor Love and Thunder. So, the aesthetic of this film is just, this is probably the most, in my opinion, the most unique Marvel movie are the most unique MCU film I've seen. For one, the aesthetic is totally different. We have a black and white, old, 30s, 40-ish styled film. It looks brilliant. I love the film grains, the cigarette burns. Just the whole direction of this is just top notch. I would love to see Michael Giacchino tackle other films. I think he'd be a great director. And the score he does is also just chilling in a way. I love the, in the different types of instruments he uses. Again, it's top notch. As for the performances, I think the MVP, the, M the two MVPs of this film are Gail Garcia Bernal as Jack Russell and Laura Donnell as Elisa Bloodstone. They, they both have some really great performances, and I love the moment that they share, both in the trap they're in and in the little area with all the tombstones. Great, there's both like great acting in the film. It's, I really like it. Plus this is also one of the most uh, brutal Marvel films, mainly because we finally get some like gore within it. We finally get see like when one of the characters gets their hand taken off, we get to see some blood squirt out. More freedom. I, I really like that. I like I really like that Marvel's slowly starting to push some of their boundaries. We saw a little bit of it in Multiverse of Madness, so I feel like Werewolf by Night, we're starting to see more of it. And I hope we do get more to show that Marvel isn't afraid to have some brutal moments. And I guess they also kind of did it because black and white, you can usually get a look away with a lot of things within black and white from what, what some people in film classes have told me. But yeah, um, Werewolf by Night is a brilliant, one of the most brilliant projects in the MCU, and it's always a great one to watch. Spooky season though.